My name is Nick Vogt. I'm a graduate student in Barb Benlin's lab in the Wisconsin Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. Um, and we have this collaboration with, the, with Federico Ray in the Department of Bacteriology. And broadly, we're looking at sort of how the gut microbiome or the gut bacteria contribute to the development or progression of Alzheimer's disease. And so some of the data here is just a, an initial look at some of our preliminary findings. And we've heard a lot about the gut microbiome and how it relates to certain diseases. It's also been known that the gut microbiome and alterations in the gut microbiome can contribute to neurological diseases, things like autism spectrum disorder and even Parkinson's disease, which is a, neuro, which is a neurodegenerative disorder. So here we're asking the question is how does the microbiome relate to Alzheimer's disease and how does it relate to aspects of Alzheimer's disease, things like CSF biomarkers or neuroimaging. So what we've done is we've collected fecal samples from 25 Alzheimer's disease participants and 25 age and sex match control participants. And we've performed what's called bacterial 16S ribosomal RNA gene sequencing on these people, on these fecal samples. And the bottom line of this technique is it allows you to determine what bacteria is there and how much of it is there. And so what we've broadly found is that the, uh, the gut microbiome of Alzheimer's disease is decreased in terms of richness, microbial richness and microbial diversity. Um, and that we've also asked the question of, are there any bacterial species or bacterial taxa that are differentially abundant in Alzheimer's disease compared to controls? We found that there are differences in both in the terms of that the species level all the way up through the phylum level that are different. So what this means going forward is we really don't know. Right now it's just the differences between Alzheimer's disease control. Further work is going to investigate this relationship in, in animal models of Alzheimer's disease and germ-free animal models. We're also going to sort of look at the longitudinal relationship between the microbiome and Alzheimer's disease in uh, human subjects with Alzheimer's disease.